Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Loon Innate, and what I'm creating for you is a bit more of a typical ASMR style video, as in, you know, I'll bring things in, but we're going to be working more with sound in general, right? You know, like old school, old school here. Basically, this is kind of a haul video, which is so funny. I haven't done something like this in a while. But my friend owns a crystal store. I've been a patron of the store for a while. We've developed a friendship over the years that I, you know, that we've kind of known each other, become no knowing of each other. And isn't that wonderful? Like, isn't that so cool how internet friends become real life friends eventually? But you probably heard me talk about this shop before, Monk and Moon. Monk, Monk and moon uh i absolutely love the shop i found them like four years ago i want to say i'm just i'm totally guessing here but let's just say like four years ago um i've ordered some stones from them they were like the juiciest stones ever and i've always been shopping with them since you know and I, you know i shop other places of course but um in general this is one of my favorite shops I have a few favorite shops though, so I'll list others below in case you want to find and poke around through different places, but I can't recommend my friend Maxwell's shop enough, this Monk and Moon, it's really, really wonderful. So just to be clear, I'm not affiliated with this shop, I don't get anything back from it, however, I do have a friendship with the shop owner, and all the things I'm going to be showing to you now are gifts, they're just gifts, right? So I don't want you to feel like I'm like trying to like push something on you i just thought this would make a great video and give me a chance to talk about crystals and stuff like that and just make some some i don't know just add more like asmr stuff to the channel here right a little bit of a little bit of variety a little options going on i also am going to be drinking this um what is this <laughs> it's an iced dandy blend it's like a dandelion tea kind of thing. It's really awesome with a little uh, non-dairy creamer in it. Fabulous. Okay. Oh, pardon. You will probably hear cars passing. You know, it's during the day right now. I just don't want anyone to be surprised, but if there's any crazy sounds, I will edit them out for you. Okay? Okay. So let's start. I got a whole bunch, a whole bunch of incense. These ones are called Spiritual Aura. <laughs> I'm not going to open every single pack. This one is Blessing. India. We have the sun. I 
just say too, when it comes to ASMR style, I'm on the faster side. That's just how I am. That's what I like. So, and then a little dragon's blood cones. I did also get a candle, the um, Virgin of Guadalupe. I love these little ones, they're so beautiful. I have one that's like the angel of animals or guardian animal angel or something. I'll try to focus it for you so you can see it's really sweet and pretty. And I like that it's petite and I don't know, it's just very tasteful and gorgeous. I like the little jewels on the... There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty, right? I hear a siren, so I'll probably make a cut here for you. Take a sip. So, I realize the light is not as perfect for like viewing crystals, but I brought a little candle, so if we need a little extra light, we'll use that. Okay, so let's start with this tower. In fact, pardon me, I'm just gonna scoot the microphone over here so it makes more sense. This is a red jasper, braciated red jasper tower. I guess we could call this a generator because it does has have six even sides and if I'm not mistaken that is the requirement for things to be a generator. Braciated Jasper would be very good, something like this would be very good to keep next to your bedside, your bed table or shelf or something like in the bedroom space because it's very helpful for dream recall. And basically what braciated means is that the stone naturally, the mineral naturally split or cracked and then other material came in. So usually with braciated jasper it's a type of chalcedony and you can see like it kind of fills in the spots and forms like this composite I guess is the word. <laughs> I'm not a geologist, I'm just a fan. I love red jasper, it's very grounding, but I have to say that whenever I see braciated, I automatically am like, okay, that's for, that's for bed, that's for bedtime. However, I used to wear one in a necklace uh, all the time, like I went through a phase where I wore it all the time and it was so grounding and helpful, so it would be a good choice if you want to kind of carry that energy with you through the day, being grounded, being calm. Feeling kind of confident in yourself. All right. I'm mean, not. I do have some more little towers, but I don't want to go through. I don't know. Let's mix it up. 
here's a selenite log. <laughs> the word log is so funny, right? I think of Ren and Stimpy. But it's just interesting, more like a cylinder shape, but it's not smooth. But it's definitely been polished a bit, like something's gone on here. It's not too rough. I don't know. Some, I don't know. It just feels like something's kind of smoothed out a little bit. Although I wouldn't say it's smooth either. Bring it back. We have to tell me which crystals you think make the best sound. I think it's kind of hard to, to beat selenite. I used this already in a video. Great for clearing your field. Great for clearing your auric field. Just dragging it through. Um, not one I would probably use for sleep. In fact, something like this might keep you up. But if you pair them together, have more of a synergy of balance. So, selenite. Gorge. Okay, I'm gonna take out this, like, pocket stone, palm stone. Very cushy cozy to hold. <laughs> uh, this looks like a golden healer or a quartz with some yellow um, material in it. I'm trying to see, it almost has a smoky quartz vibe, like a very, very, very pale smoky quartz. It's hard to tell. Lots of rainbows, prism kind of light refractions. And I just love stones like this that you can get lost in, see all the layers, and good for scrying and stuff. But I would probably use this just to stabilize my energy field, or just kind of like work with it in meditation, for grounding. Is grounding, protective, and really works well with vital force, personal strength. I don't like to make physical claims with crystals, but it's also known for like a blood purifier if I'm not mistaken. I do believe in the physical. Um, I do believe in making associations, setting intentions, communicating with the subconscious, and if stones help us to do that as a tangible aspect, and certainly some kind of frequency, certainly some kind of vibe on their own, then I feel like it can be supportive in a holistic sense.
Bloodstone is also a type of jasper as well. struggle pronouncing this one but Peter Stite it's um basically it's really stunning as well it's like blue tiger's eye that's been crushed or kind of compacted and there's also some quartz from Tibet in here that's gonna be so lovely in a grid These make lovely cabochons because they have just these like really gorgeous markings that look like lightning or flashes. Again, these are going to be really nice in a grid too. Let's see if I can show you one a little better. They have like a kyanite kind of look to them, like a blue kyanite look. in the same way that I would with blue tiger's eye or hawk eye working with the third eye, working with the inner vision working with seeing greater pictures expanded viewpoints trusting your instincts things like that but there's many ways we can work with stones, you know lovely but I'm gonna move on kind of quick from this spot in the back there's a lot more to show okay um here's a point that I also used in a recent video this is an aura point so it's a clear quartz These when working with protection, protecting the auric field, creativity, the imagination, and of course it is clear quartz. So this can be programmed and used in any way. That's too rough. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have these two palm stones, which I believe are both a type of picture jasper, although they do look fairly different in their markings. Makes like a flying saucer kind of sound. <laughs> 
Dr. Jasper is nice for seeing, again, the bigger picture, for redefining your position, for rewriting your story, for scrying, depending on the markings, I suppose. These are nice pocket stones. They're very easy and slam. You barely notice this in your pocket compared to, you know, this thing is heavy AF. Oh, I see how it's set up now. really gorgeous um, apatite. These are so, 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 so pretty. The color is just like outrageous electric blue kind of color. I love apatite. Very good for the throat. The throat chakra. Expression. But really like expressing yourself. Like really speaking your truth. Like speaking with confidence. Speaking with clarity thinking as well though, thought with confidence and clarity to support what you're working towards. This is another generator style. I would call it a tower, but like generator because of the six points, six sides, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it on you. This is one where I would place near like my workspace. Somewhere where I'm like engaging with people or doing like writing or anything like that. <laughs> my stomach is growling. I promise I will feed myself after this. I I'll whip out a big guy here. So I swear when I opened this, I knew what it was. I could tell what it was before I opened it. But this is another um, purple angelite, which I forget the actual name. It's like anhyd anhydro. It's not a hydro quartz, but it's like got a word like that, anhydronite or something. Anyway, I just keep calling it purple angelite because that, you know, that works. But this stone is of the most buzzy and like punchy stones that I've ever worked with. I know we're all different. That's why I knew what it was before I even unwrapped it. I was like, this is that thing. This is that thing. <laughs> it's difficult to see in this light, but they truly have these really gorgeous, like, below-the-surface kind of refractions and patterns. Truly amazing. So, this is one that I would place on my altar or space where I might meditate a lot. This is like a standing I do have a little, a smaller one, a palm stone kind of chubby palm stone, <laughs> juicy palm stone. I feel this is like very high vibrational. I've been wanting 
really cool um, clear quartz with black tourmaline pieces in it. So it's like tourmalated quartz. So black tourmaline is very protective and I actually love and prefer to work with black tourmaline in quartz most of the time because you can program the quartz to kind of like amplify the energy of the, the tourmaline for sure. But tourmaline from my experience really like holds on to energy. So it's kind of like easier to clean, easier to protect if it's in court in in quartz from my perspective. I'm not saying, you know, you can do it however you want to do it. Peace, community. 
take place anywhere and it would be amazing but of course this is for patients for love so maybe if you're lucky enough to have a bathtub that you take baths in once in a while placing this near there or even these really work well stuck in our plants honestly any of these would be pretty good in a plant for the most part but you know rose quartz just you could put it anywhere it would work really really well love of self
very protective. Also, another one I believe is unknown for like blood purification, if I'm not mistaken. But you wouldn't want to throw this at somebody. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't want to throw any of them. But now, this one is fascinating to me. I believe this is tourmaline. It says tourmaline hematite and vandenate. Vandenate. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And this has to be the tourmaline because this is definitely the hematite. Tourmaline is kind of light and porous. Hematite is like really dense and heavy and this is very dense and heavy so that's what I'm going off of even though this does look like tourmaline. It has a very different texture and weight. So this is I don't know, I've never seen tourmaline like this in this formation. It's sparkly. I don't know if it's been treated with something or that's just like a natural formation, but dang, this is stunning. Super interesting. It almost feels like a pine cone in my hand. I don't want to make a noise with it because it's quite delicate.
texture on the side here. I love this formation or this mark. It feels really good for your thumb. And I've been using it this way too, just like kind of a, a trigger, kind of a meditative reset and trigger. I don't know the specifics about Mondo Quartz other than that it's very rare. And then I'm pretty sure it comes from Tanzania. But um, in general, again, it is clear quartz. So no matter what, you can use it like clear quartz. I do appreciate the very varied variety of quartzes and trying to get to know them. The new, <laughs> I realize how silly that sounds, but trying to get to know them, connecting with the lands that they came from or, you know, some type of practice or activation. Like sometimes when we travel places, I think that many of us will agree, even the non, even the non woo woo babies that might still be watching, the non woo woo puppies. But when you go somewhere, you, you become activated by the place, you know, you have awakenings, you have experiences, you soak in the sun, you get the sand in your feet, or, you know, you consume the water in different places that you go, like, you're activated by travel, you're activated by visiting different lands. So, when we're working with stones, that obviously all of these have come from different places, I see Morocco, Africa, um, Brazil, Tibet, you know, like, just here on this table, 